I am so excited to show you this day. What's up, P Nation? We are finally making this video. Ever since we started a YouTube channel, I have wanted to take you guys to Santa Monica Pier, and we are finally here in Santa Monica. This is one of our favorite things to do in LA. Let's get started. to the pier but unfortunately it is closed for filming how LA you know we come here on the day actually there's four days that they're filming I have no idea what they're filming here Netflix I don't I don't know so it's closed we can't actually go to the pier we're gonna ride some roller coasters today but that's not the case it is coronavirus too so we want to be respectful of that so we're gonna stay on the beach and hopefully rent some bikes our favorite bike shop is actually closed I don't know what happened to it I hope it didn't go out of business I hope it's just for a temporary thing because it was run by this old dude that just was here forever. I mean, he's been here for 30 years and he was our favorite person to ride bikes from because he was just so charismatic and like, it was a true bike shack on the side of the beach. So I hope it'll stay open later, but we're gonna look for some bikes and just enjoy this great weather and the LA vibe. guys can see this line right here but this guy is about to walk the tightrope like all the way down there all the way back I don't think I've ever seen a slack line that's this big this is crazy this place is just like such an interesting like event honestly because like when you come to LA Santa Monica is so close it's only 30 minutes away and it's this like completely different section of LA where it's like super touristy beach mixed with all these people like working out and all these families here and there's just so much action everywhere on the beach, on the walking path, on the bike path. We're really sad we couldn't bike today but it's like you don't even have to because everything's just so entertaining. You know, just walking on the walking path is enough. We even have the LAPD on staff. Like what? Who has helicopters in their police department? This place is just so funny. Cause like, you really, you don't need an activity. Like this is the activity, it's just being here because there are so many weird people just doing weird things. And it is so much fun. So it's just like interesting this time, we didn't rent a bike because we actually had a completely different experience walking through. Yeah, you because know, there's like a bike path that like takes you on the outskirts like towards the beach so you don't have to go through all of like the tent city if you will and like see all the artists. So this time we walked through it and it was just like, like a completely different experience and I'm really glad we had it because it was really cool and friendly and it's like a community. So there's just people hanging out. I'm just glad we got to do it. Now we're headed to what is normally our first bike stop. It is, oh my gosh, there's so many people doing tricks over there. It is the skate park, which is so glad it's still open because you guys, there are some really good skaters here. It's an artist community and they have walls of graffiti. You can literally just bring spray paint, express yourself, be whatever you want to be because it's LA. Alright, now we're in front of the famous 
Muscle Beach sign. This is where people normally work out, but due to coronavirus, most gyms in LA are closed. So nothing's happening right now, but this is the place to be. I never work out here. Too many people. The equipment's normally like really uh, worn because of the sun and the ocean and the amount of people using it. Like a lot of people come from internationally to this place to work out so they can work out where Arnold Schwarzenegger worked out, but like, I don't need that. But, Would you let me work out here? Yes, if you wanted to work out here, I'd let you work out here. It's just, <laughs> just too crowded for me and everyone is coming here to watch you work out. So like, don't miss a rep because they'll get you crap for it. So the first time Zach brought me here, I was amazed. I don't think I knew this existed. And just the fact that there are these like small canals in the middle of a city or like a, a community right on the water is just like the most random thing to me. And that it's called Venice. Like there's just like too many, it's just, it's- Venice Beach Canals. Like what more can you ask for? I honestly. love it, I love it. So I'm a sucker for romantic comedies and Valentine's Day introduced me to the Venice Beach Canals. The main character, Ashton Kutcher, actually lives in the Venice Beach Canals, which I thought was a made up place. And I've driven past this place so many times on the way from LAX to Santa Monica and I've never stopped here. And so I stopped here eight years ago. And since then I've brought over 15 people here because it's just incredible. Like how is this place right next to the beach? It's called Venice, there are canals, people have boats, People have flamingo paddle boards. Like, I don't even know what's going on. There's so much stuff here. Little bridges. You really feel like you're in a different world, but you're in the middle of Los Angeles. Guys, like, what is this place? Are we in Bali right now? You guys are so cool. Like, I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> That's so awesome. It is paradise. <laughs> I know. <laughs> artsy I just love it like all of the different colored homes there's always this flamingo boat that's here like year after year after year I don't know if it ever gets used it's just like so fantastic is setting. This is the end of our Santa Monica Venice Beach day. I couldn't have asked for a better day, honestly. Honestly, and it didn't work out as we had planned, but we had an amazing day just walking down to Venice Beach. There are so many people here. Like, what is going on? It's, it's Monday. It's the people. <laughs> it's the people that make this place. Like, I don't yeah. even know. I, I don't know what that's you were true. expecting when you clicked on this video, but I'm sure it wasn't just shots of a bunch of people. But when you come <laughs> here, that's what yeah. you see. And everyone's so different. And it's so interesting. And it's yeah. California. Everyone's so free. I, I don't even know. When you come to LA, you have to go to Santa Monica and you have to check out Venice in the same day. Hopefully, you'll rent a bike Hopefully. and just like ride down in the sunshine. Because it's seriously, it's such a vibe. We love doing this every time we come to Los Angeles. It is the perfect thing to do, just like to really get that California feeling. Quintessential LA. It helps that it's right next to LAX. My boss at my old job used to say that his favorite place in the world was Santa Monica Pier, and that when he died, he wanted yeah. his ashes spread there because it is that beautiful here. Wow. Nothing can compare. Like, I don't even know. This is just yeah. an amazing place. Thanks for watching. I really love this house. It has my energy, it's orange. It's got like desert vibes in California. <laughs> they can work out where Arnold Schwarzenegger, where Arnold Schwarzenegger worked out, but like. What is this? The beach. We just had an amazing down walking. We had an amazing day just walking down the. What's up, P Nation? We out of here, fam. Watch this video. <laughs> <laughs>